Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 35A Days Over 2. In this episode, we're going to go on a mission here with Marluxia, and he's going to teach us how to use our Keyblade, like I mentioned in the last episode, but also like the last episode. This episode is going to be full of tutorials, so I hope you guys are ready for that. Roxas, was it? I never properly introduced myself. I am Marluxia, number 11. Okay, so what do I have to do today? Today, your job is to collect hearts. Uh, how do I do that? Roxas, could you summon your Keyblade for me? Well, sure, alright. Lucky number 13. At last, a chosen wielder of the Keyblade amongst our ranks. Whoa, what are those? Hmm, nothing to be feared. So, Roxas, shall we put that power of yours to a little test? Use your Keyblade and defeat those Heartless. Now then, we get our first tutorial here of this mission, and all it really is is how to use our Keyblade. What it boils down to is press A over and over, and you'll do combos, or of course just do it one time, and you'll do one attack. I can't believe I actually defeated them all at one time there. But anyway, if you defeat enemies, you can get HP balls, money, and prize boxes, which can have, like, potions and ethers and stuff like that. All of this is very similar to all of the other Kingdom Hearts games, so it's nothing really new. Good. Those Heartless are called Shadows. But what are heartless? Dark creatures who roam about searching for hearts. They come in two larger varieties. The ones you just defeated are known as pure bloods. Pure bloods don't release any hearts when you defeat them. In other words, don't bother with them. Your mission is to collect hearts after all. The other variety. Hmm, is right over there. Forget about the shadows. Take these out, Roxas. They are your real targets. Now, I do believe I already talked about this in the first episode, how to lock on, but I forgot that they were actually going to teach us how to do it. But all you have to do to lock on is double tap R. It might sound a little bit awkward as far as the motion of double tapping R to lock onto an enemy, but once you get used to it, it's really not that bad, even though I think I might have preferred holding L and R to lock on, kind of like in Birth by Sleep. Those were what we call Emblem Heartless. Why are they so special? Did you notice? Hearts appeared when you defeated them. Right. Your job is to collect those hearts. Now, just as a small aside here, I don't think we're going to get any combat here to illustrate this point, but if you defeat an Emblem Heartless, like Marluxia was saying, they will release hearts. Those kind of manifest themselves in the gameplay as money, sort of, that you can spend in the shop later on. Is there any trick to it? None. So long as the Heartless are felled by your weapon, the Keyblade, the hearts will be captured. I see. And what happens to the hearts I collect? They will gather as one and create an almighty force known as Kingdom Hearts. Which is... good, right? Completing Kingdom Hearts is the organization's primary objective. And to do that, we need all the hearts we can possibly find. So that's what the organization does, collect hearts. Actually, you are the first of us to accomplish it. Wait, then... The rest of us can defeat Heartless, but we have no way of collecting the hearts they release. Eventually, the hearts will turn right back into Heartless. You see, then, how special you are. Hmm. With power like yours. Heh, <laughs> here comes more of them. Each one is a gift, Rocks, to squeeze every last heart out of them.
Now, I think this little bit right here about chaining is the final little tutorial we're going to get in this mission. But basically what chaining is, and I'm just going to kind of gloss over it because it's very self-evident what you have to do. It works a lot like chaining and combos in other games. If you can defeat a Heartless, you will get a sort of a ring of light to appear around the Heartless or the next Heartless that you're sort of locked on to, as you can see right here. If you can defeat the Heartless that has that ring of light around it, which will switch depending on what you're actually locked on to, before that ring of light goes away, you'll extend your chain. And if you extend your chain, you know, certain lengths, you will get more hard points out of that chain. Excellent, Roxas. Your work today is done. I am amazed. That Keyblade. The things that can be done with that sort of power. Um... I have high hopes for you, Roxas, as do we all. Defeat the Heartless and help the organization reach our noble goal. Um, alright. Shall we RTC then? Now, I really do love this mission, and I'm gonna go in RTC because there's no treasure chest or anything we need to collect, but I love it because it shows Marluxia's sort of motivation for his thirst for power that he tries to go for in the events of Reach Hidden Memories. The organization defeats the Heartless in order to collect hearts and complete Kingdom Hearts. But I don't know what that is or what it does. I don't even know what a heart is. Good morning, Roxas. I shall be joining you on my mission today. Take care of what you need to and then check in with Sykes. I am all ready to go. Now, we're actually pretty much ready to go ourselves. There's not really much we need to take care of. Let's go ahead and talk to Lexius, though. Absolutely nothing to say, which kind of fits with his character a little bit, I guess. But let's go ahead and talk to Syx over here and get our mission with Zaxian underway. Your mission today is to eliminate a set quantity of Heartless. The organization may call upon you to meet other objectives, perform recon for example. But regardless of the task you have been given, your primary orders still hold. You and that Keyblade of yours serve us best by collecting hearts. So even if I'm given another job, I should keep taking out Heartless while I do it? Correct. Today, however, the two happily coincide. Now, the primary objective is going to be demarcated, I guess, by that little X down there on the mission gauge bar, and anything after that is going to be considered a secondary objective, which, if you complete those, you'll get extra rewards, but of course, also we get a map. I was going to talk about the map, actually. I forgot that they were going to mention it in the actual tutorial section. I love the map in this game because it's so much more detailed than the other Kingdom Hearts games maps, which I guess is only a kind of a side effect of having two screens so they can have a more detailed map, but it shows where the primary Heartless you have to defeat are, and there is a treasure chest over here we need to collect, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. Down there in the bottom right, above the little bar down there where the mission gauge is, it shows you how many treasure chests there are on that mission, and even if you have missions that go to the same place, you will not necessarily have to collect the same treasure chests. Each different mission, I should probably explain it like this, each mission, even if it goes to the same place, will have a different set of collect, a different set of treasure chests, I should say, that you need to collect. And by the way, these Heartless I'm killing right here are actually the Heartless that I defeated in the trailer that I made, just a little fun fact. But yeah, I really do love the fact that they have the Heartless actually on the map, which it's not always like that, only the Heartless that you have to defeat for a mission are usually on the map, and I do believe, and that is actually our final Heartless right there, but as you can see, the mission gauge is not actually all the way full. All done. I defeated the number of Heartless, you said. Now we get to RTC, right? Leave already. I, for one, would apply myself a bit more. But I... 
Yes, yes, you did as you were asked. Mission accomplished, but... As you can plainly see, there are still Heartless wondering about. You don't have to eliminate them all. It's your choice. Just like I don't have to respect you for slinking back to the castle while there's still work to be done. And if that doesn't matter to you, just remember the organization rewards those who make the extra effort. So I guess this little bit of a tutorial right here is all about the secondary objectives, which I already kind of talked about. But the secondary objectives, of course, are not primary objectives, so you don't actually have to do them. After you do your primary objectives, and by the way, I should probably mention that not every mission has secondary objectives, but after you complete your primary objectives, you can leave. As you saw in the little information bar or whatever, actually you can see it there on the bottom the screen as well. The RTC right now is actually authorized, we could leave, but if you complete these secondary objectives, which I'll be trying to complete all of the secondary objectives in the game, you will get extra rewards, which aren't necessarily always worth it, but I thought, you know, since I've done pretty much 100% in every other Kingdom Hearts game, might as well go ahead and try and complete all the secondary objectives. One thing that might be a little bit important to mention is that you cannot necessarily complete all of these secondary objectives as soon as they're given to you. Like, sometimes there will be abilities that you won't have until much later on that you're going to need to defeat some, or to complete some of these secondary objectives. So I'll try to go back to the ones that I have to miss and complete those as well. Much better. I trust you'll exhibit equal diligence in your missions going forward. Alright, now that the mission is over, do you have any questions? Yeah, um... Just what is Kingdom Hearts? Marluxia said it was some kind of... a force. Yes. And when I defeat the Heartless, those hearts pop out and become part of Kingdom Hearts, right? But like, what's the point? Kingdom Hearts will complete us. That's the organization's goal. Complete us? Complete us how? Roxas, you and I and all the organization's members are what we call nobodies. Well, that's not very nice. With a capital N, it's a name for those of us who are missing a vital piece of who we are, our hearts. I don't have a heart? Correct. Like all of us, you entered the world without one, but you can help us get them. Kingdom Hearts is made of the very things we lack, a multitude of hearts. It has the power to complete us. Are you starting to see why you're so important? Each of us has a vital role in the organization. Yours is collecting hearts. Yeah, I get it. Well, I just hope we can count on you to get it done. Any more questions? No, sorry. Then we should be getting back. Come on. Nobodies don't exist. We in the organization were born without hearts. So, if we don't have hearts, does that mean we don't exist? Roxas, Larxene will be your partner today. Larxene, right. Um... She already left. Meet her on site. Oh, alright. This time we expect you to try out magic for a change instead of relying solely on the Keyblade. Magic? I know magic! Only if you arm yourself with some before you leave for the mission. See me when you are ready. Hmm. 
Now that is our cue for how to learn or that we need to learn about panels and the panel system is this game's way and I'm just gonna go ahead and explain it myself I guess instead of going through the actual tutorial screens because it's just easier if I explain it myself but the panel system is how you're going to level up learn new abilities equip magic equip potions I'm gonna actually go ahead and equip I guess four or five potions will be fine for now but we need to go ahead and equip fire actually because fire is what we need to use on our next mission and in fact if we do not equip fire we cannot start the next mission so of course we need to do that right now in the next episode maybe or maybe the episode after that I will go ahead and explain the panel system a little bit more in detail because we'll have a little bit more to work with but as for right now because we've equipped some fire might as well go ahead and talk to Syx here and get the final mission I think I'm gonna do in this episode underway and as you see Syx says that we actually have to have magic to get the mission started Nice of you to show up. Um, hi. Ah, this is the worst. Whose idea was it to send me along in your stupid baby mission? Do I look like I run a nursery school? Let Demix handle this stuff. It's not like he's good at anything else. What? What? You got something to say? No. You'd be nothing without that Keyblade. Oh ho, I just got an idea. You can do today's mission without your Keyblade. What? Why? Because I said so, that's why. Syx told you to practice magic today, didn't he? Well, sink or swim. Yeah, sink! I don't know how to use magic. Well, you're not gonna learn if you keep whipping around that oversized key. Yeah, but... Ah, perfect. There's a Heartless. Go on, take it out, and you have to use magic. I'll stand here and watch. Now the magic system I'm not going to worry about, like I said before, the tutorial actual like, screen to explain it too much because I, I feel like it's more easy to explain, or easier I should say, to explain by myself. But the magic system in this game is very different from the magic system in pretty much every other Kingdom Hearts game. I'm going to go around here and collect all these treasure chests because they all have ethers in them. The way it works is that the panels that you equip before the mission is however many times you can fire that magic or use that magic. Of course we have three panels so we can use magic, fire I should say, three times and ethers will replenish that count. Ooh, ooh here comes some more. Go on, wipe them out. Ah, uh, get the speed you move, we'll be here all month. Go ahead, you can use your Keyblade this time. Wait, what happened to learning magic? Do you want to finish this awful mission or don't you? Just get to it. Oh, by the way, if you need to heal, do it yourself. You gotta love Larxene. Actually, you don't. I actually hate Larxene, and that's exactly why. And I cannot wait until she goes to Castle Oblivion, as she does in Reach Into Memories, and dies. Anyway, how to use recovery items is very basic. All you have to do is actually equip them on with the panel system or whatever, and use them by selecting them in the item menu. Of course, we also need to learn about shortcuts, which I probably should have done already. Equipped a shortcut, but what I like to do is equip fire to A. All you really have to do is highlight it in the magic menu, hold L and then press one of the face buttons, A, X, Y, and B, and then all you have to do from that point on is press L and then whatever button you set the shortcut to be, and then you don't have to go through the magic menu to do all that. Anyway, I like to use magic early on. Early on, magic seems to be very, very powerful. At some point, and I'm not even really sure what point that is, it seems like magic gets to be quite a bit less useful, but I still do like to use it because for some reason it just feels a little more solid 
than in other Kingdom Hearts games. Maybe it's just like the panel system makes each you seem a little bit more useful. I'm not exactly sure, but I do like it. Sheesh, about time. Worst mission ever. If you're our big shot Keyblade wielder, then we're in deep doo-doo. Ugh, can't you even hold up your end of a conversation? You'd better pull it together or we'll never finish Kingdom Hearts. Unless, of course, we put somebody else on Keyblade duty. What? You have somebody else? None of your beeswax. You just worry about defeating Heartless and collecting hearts for us. Maybe one day you'll be almost mediocre at it. Ugh, let's go before you kill any more of my brain cells. You know, guys, like, I just can't explain how much I don't like Lara Cena. She's kind of a playfully annoying person, I guess, but I still don't really like her. Kind of, she reminds me a lot of Yuffie. But anyway, here in the mission review, we're going to get a scan panel, which is very useful because that will allow us to see the HP of the enemies we're targeting. The Keyblade releases hearts. So why am I the only one who can wield such a thing? I'm learning all these things, but there's so much more that I don't get. You're mine today, Roxas! Uh, alright. Report to Sykes when you're ready. Now, before we go ahead, and by the way, control types is essentially useless. I've never changed the control type. I'm not sure why you would ever do it, because the base control type is essentially the best one. But anyway, all I want to do is equip the scan panel and a couple of potions and ethers, I guess, to get ready for the next mission. However, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode right here because we've done quite a bit of the tutorial missions already, and I think there are only like two more. But in the next episode, guys, hopefully, we will finish off the tutorial sections and get a little bit less dialogue and, with any luck, fewer tutorials. But I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, and I hope to see you guys back for the next episode.